everybody. How are you? I uh, thought I'd do a, a live video because um, it's been a while and uh, I've got these cool new little squeeze brushes that I found on Wish and I'm trying a little experiment today. I, um, <clears throat> I got enough of these things. I'm going to try to, I put a little drop of uh, ink in there and I'm going to try to uh, to make something really cool and um, we'll see what happens. Now I tend to do a lot of these uh, during the holiday season and uh, they're very fun to do. Um, this one will be interesting because I'm going straight with ink. But I think you'll like it. These, um, these little pages, I draw the characters, you know, from the, the books that they appear, but this is uh, the first time that I've taken the liberty of drawing a character that, uh, that does not appear in the book, but it, it plays such an important part. So what I'm going to do is basically take care of the, the underdrawing with tone. Somebody asked me the other day, you know, is it scary when you pull these things out? Yeah, yeah, it is very scary. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, I definitely like where it's going. It's absorbing into this really well. So I would say, and these are ridiculously cheap, these paint markers. 
Um, I bought the small ones by accident. Um, so I've got some new ones coming in. But I feel like this is this is working out. Let's see. hit it with some markers. We're going to do a bunch of these. I just did a face hugger one the other day. For the alien fans. I'm going to stay away from the mouth because I did just go over there. We can we can stack tone pretty effectively, and the most vibrant things on this piece are going to ultimately be the eyes and the uh, the background, and that'll that'll push the character forward. See how it's becoming more opaque, if we're going to have a word of the day. Let's say opaque could be the word. It's starting to happen. It's starting to happen. So, give that a shake. We'll put it over there. We'll work a little bit on the hand over here because I'm sure... I think the big secret when you're working in, like, watercolor or or any kind of wash. I think moving around, if you're on the illustration track, um, moving around the illustration to different zones, I feel like is a, a pretty safe path. Is that chubby little baby hand. So we're gonna ultimately sell this probably for 40 bucks once it's all said and done. And we'll hit it with um, we'll hit it with white for the highlights too. love that show. It's very, very fun. Put a little shadow on those hands. Show that they're kind of tucked under. And ultimately that'll be a nice dark there too inside that, that tucked blanket.
it a little bit. Let's hit it with another wash. Ooh, off camera, I just made a nice little, a nice little puddle of wash there. tell you with a with an old with an old book like this the um, the white crayon when I hit it with the white crayon after it it like jumps off the page set up to record is very sensitive to to movement uh, if you watch my my eye candy videos there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, screen shake going on Texture and tone. That's really the, the name of the game here.
I like where it's going. I feel like maybe I should put another wash on the whole thing. Or at least the textured part. And then for this shiny edge, I'll just put a little bit there. All right, well, thanks for watching, and um, I'll uh, hit this with a couple more tones and then hit it with a white crayon, and I'll post it later. But um, feel free to share with your friends, let them see it. I may do a couple more of these today, but um, you can find out more at freelunchcomics.com or at the YouTube channel Free Lunch Studios. And um, I'll talk to you later.